compound interest. It is the first thing you should teach your kids about before having the conversation around investments. our full month of investment and maybe more conversation around the first place you should start with your kids. Before you dive into what is a stock, what is a bond, and how to build a portfolio and all that good stuff, you've got to talk to your kids about compounding interest. And frankly, you need to understand it as well. It is one of those concepts that we have to understand to truly invest and stay invested. Because investing scares us. We get on that roller coaster ride and we panic and pull out and we're happy to stay where we're at, but we forget about the compounding effect over time if we stay in. If you have $10,000 invested, I know you want to have $10,000 back. And the, the notion that it goes up and then it goes down, so you could have $7,500. And then all that's going through your head is, Oh my goodness, I've lost money. Or if it goes up to 13,000, oh, I'm so smart, I know how to make money. But it's leaving it in over time, which is the most powerful. And that is because of compounding effect over the years and just riding out some of the roller coaster. But it's a hard concept. And we, it's an emotional thing that if we teach them about compounding interest first, that it makes it easier for them to be savvy investors later. So I'm gonna walk you through the first step is understanding the rule of 72. And it's super easy. Take the number 72 and you divide it by whatever interest rate you are getting on your investments on a regular basis. And the whatever the, the result is, that's how often your money will double let me give you an example, super easy example. I'm using 10%, which I understand is completely unrealistic, but I'm using it for easy math. If you take the rule, you take 72 and you divide it by seven, uh, 10%, your money will double every 7.2 years. So if you think about this, it's really powerful and easy to teach your kids. And who wouldn't love the idea of my money's doubling? So with Lauren and Taylor, this summer, we're gonna be home a lot and they've got sports, we've got summer school, so we're really not gonna travel that much. And they're planning on doing a lot of babysitting and working and they're really wanting to earn money. Both of them are hoping to drive in the next couple of years and they know they'll be responsible for gas and insurance and other things. And so they're gonna earn as much as they can. One of the things we talked about was every month, maybe trying to save a piece of what they're making and start investing it. And the number we came up with was $100 a month. We felt that that was a reasonable number that they could save on a monthly basis. So what I did is I grabbed my pencil and I grabbed our calculator and I said, all right, so you save $100 a month. If you save $100 a month for 12 months, how much do you have? And they said, we have $1,200. And I said, what if I paid you, and right now no bank's gonna pay you this, but what if I, the bank of mom, pays you 10%, how much did you earn on that $1,200? And they said $120. And so I said, all right, so if you earn 10% every year and you keep putting the $100 in, how will that grow? And they both looked at me and said, I have no idea. And I, I said, all right, you've got two choices. At the end of the year, you can take out the $120 and use it, spend it, do something with it and still leave the uh, $1,200 invested. And do the same thing year after year. Keep putting $100 in every month and then let that grow. But you take your profits and you use them, you enjoy them. Or you can leave the 120 for the first year in, and just keep adding the $100 and then letting it continue to grow. And that's where that rule of 72, that 10% in the 7.2 years, after 7.2 years, your money is going to start doubling. 
and, and doing the math, it was over $20,000 in 10 years versus at the end of 10 years, just having $12,000. Because if they took the interest out every time, it doesn't compound. Yes, you're saving. Yes, you've got $12,000, but by leaving it in, you now have over $20,000. Your money worked for you. The girl's eyes were huge, but what's so useful and what helps them understand is as we start talking about cars, I said they were hoping to drive in the next couple of years and to have a car or participate in a family car. We start talking about car payments and buying cars. And if you look at what a car payment is and buying a car or even just borrowing one but having to put gas and everything else in, we start doing the numbers on how much that costs on a monthly basis and what if we didn't spend or buy a brand new car or buy a used car or not buy a car at all, just borrow mom and dad's car but pay for the gas. And if you took that car payment and you invested that now, and I did a more reasonable rate of return closer to 6% over time, and you started saving for a home or you started saving for retirement at your age, look how quickly at the rule of 72, if that starts to double, some of the math we did over 30 years was millions of dollars. So what I'm showing them is not only how to save, how compounding interest works, but also how to make smart money decision because money is powerful. Compounding interest is powerful. Even if you buy a cup of coffee every single day, that five, six dollars a day could turn into big money with compounding interest. I am an advisor, I am not your advisor, and if I am, I'm not giving you direct advice today. Have a good week.